it's Smoka here. So spooky season has been going on for quite some time and I thought I would participate with some fun, not super extra, but sort of cool last minute Halloween ideas. Now, I myself am not invited to any party because um, I don't actually have that many friends. And also all my friends that I do have, they moved away. So yeah, I'm not doing anything on Halloween, which is great. I'm just gonna dress up by myself. But for those of you who are slay and going to a party or just wanna film some cute TikToks and want something fun, easy, cheap. And today we're gonna be starting with the absolute queen. Not necessarily a spooky costume, but she's just fun, she's slay. We all sort of wanna be her, even though she's not technically a good person. Regina George, nonetheless. Regina George, love her. It's one of my all-time favorite movies, and if I were to ever dress up as anyone from that movie, it, it has to be Regina. I did a Mean Girls audio two years ago, and people told me they actually kind of see Rachel McAdams on my face. Now, agree to disagree, I don't see it that much, but I see like, I see a little, I see, I see the type bit. Like if I had blonde hair, I've been wanting to do this for so, so long, and Halloween is just the perfect excuse for a retired cosplayer like me to dress up again, wear a wig and stuff like that. So I'm super excited. Next to me, I have my MacBook and the entire time that I'm gonna do this makeup tutorial, of course, I'm gonna look at her face, her gorgeous face. I love Rachel McAdams, she's so stunning. And I'm going to try and replicate this as much and as easy as possible. I'm gonna be starting with these two flawless filters. We have number three and number one. And I just kind of like to mix my flawless filter for a good base. I don't really use any foundation or anything like that. It's um, just mostly too heavy on my face. It ends up being cakey, so I don't love using foundation. And yeah, mixing these two is just, it gives me like the perfect color for some reason because I'm not as light as number one, but I'm not as dark as number three. We do have to mind that, um, which is a good thing that this movie is a like the basic 2000s movie so of course the makeup is going to be a bit different i don't see a lot of contouring here for example so we might as well just skip that part um but yeah i think it leaves a lot of room for interpretation since she is a natural blonde unlike me she has a lot lighter eyebrows and what i use is this eyebrow gel it's a tinted eyebrow gel in the number c 32 from Heavy Rotation Coloring Eyebrow. This is from Japan. It has pretty straight eyebrows, I would say. This doesn't do much, as you can see. Like, it's not super, it's not making them a lot lighter. I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'm definitely gonna go over it with some foundation or concealer or something. We're gonna dive straight into it with concealer. I'm using the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer in the shade 12B. Now, I'm a pale girl and so is Regina, so this is, I personally really like this. I also have super dry skin, and this doesn't dry out my skin at all, so this is just a genuine recommendation, not just for this makeup tutorial. I'm gonna apply it quite heavily because I don't know if contouring back then just wasn't a super big deal, but I definitely don't see a lot of contouring on Regina's face, so I wouldn't do too much contouring and stuff like that. But maybe some of you guys are like Y2K makeup experts and you can definitely correct me if any of what I'm trying to do or teach is wrong. Um, I would love to hear some feedback, but yeah, I don't think the makeup has to be like perfect, perfect. I really like this a lot, but it looks like, I don't know, she's wearing even more. So I'm just gonna apply a second layer. I feel like a staple thing of Y2K makeup are the thin eyebrows and I definitely have I have like medium sized eyebrows but I feel like we can make them a little bit thinner it's gonna be hard because I have an eyebrow tattoo for everyone who doesn't know so it's really hard for me to cover them up I'm just gonna try and just try to create a nice and thin shape it is really hard underneath either way but I'm just gonna try. While that sits, I'm gonna do like the curling of my eyelashes. I like to do that before I go in with any shadow because sometimes I feel like it kind of messes with um, the colors that I've created and it kind of looks 
better if I do it before. I think we let that sit long enough and I'm gonna try and blend it. Again, you will probably end up seeing my natural brow underneath, but I feel like, yeah, anyone who doesn't have an eyebrow tattoo, you could still, you should still do this, I feel like. I think it's one of her, also another staple of just the time back then and the makeup, yeah. I kind of figured you would see it through, but I feel like the effect is still there a little bit. I Maybe I'm gonna go in with a second layer. Yeah, it just makes it hard because I have an eyebrow tattoo. But. Regina's staple look, or I feel like a lot of girls' staple look back then was this pale blue eyeshadow, which I think looks so iconic. Like genuinely, I think it's one of the most iconic looks ever. And we're gonna try that out. She has blue eyes, or I feel like especially blondes with blue eyes look so amazing with blue eyeshadow. So I hope it's gonna still look slay on me, but we'll have to see. For the eye makeup, I have two palettes that I'm gonna use, which first of all is this one from Flower Nose. So stunning. It's one of my absolute favorite brands and I'm so lucky to be working with them. They're not sponsoring this video, but I did have this gifted. And we have this one. It's from this really random brand. I don't even know what it's called. I think I'm gonna start with this really light shade in the palette just to sort of even out the color. I always used to do that and I feel like it works really well. You kind of just even out the tone on your eye. And since this shade is a lot darker than this one, I think I'm gonna start with this one. Again, it's just this really light blue shade. This is the perfect shade, y'all. This is so good because it's really pale. I thought it was gonna be much more pigmented, but it's not. So we're gonna apply this shade. Start at the front. And she actually keeps it pretty close to her lash line. So for me, for example, you can see my, uh, my crease here and I feel like she doesn't blend it upwards too much. She kind of just stays below her crease. Nice. She sort of intensifies the look with some darker eyeshadow in the outer corner. So that's when I'm gonna use this one from Flower Nose. Still gonna try and make it not too heavy. Okay, I think we're done with the eyeshadow and I think it's looking kind of slay. It's kind of looking like I'm a Y2K queen. She has pretty thick eyeliner most of the time and not in the way you think she does, but she does have some Kajal is what we call it in German. And it's just the Perfect Stroke Longwear Gel Eyeliner in black. And I'm gonna try and not completely ruin the makeup look, which is gonna be hard because I can't work with Kajal or eyeliner in general. I'm not good at it. So she just has like a pretty thick wing here and then pulls it down to the lower lash line. I'm just gonna apply Kind of like this, okay? It's actually not bad, and I'm gonna blend it out a little bit with a brush later, so. Hey, I didn't ruin it completely. But now let's not be happy too soon. I'm gonna use this tiny little brush. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit, okay? Because that's what she does. Okay. Okay. Am I just a Lulu, or is this looking it's looking all right. I'm gonna fix it later, but for now, this is okay. Another thing that I noticed is that she most of the time has pretty light pink blush and quite a lot of it in like a circular motion. Like it's not really blended out or snatched. It's just like right on the cheek and just like, it's kind of bright pink. So I thought this Kylie Cosmetics Winter Kissed blush would be perfect. And basically smile. And she has it like right here most of the time, like right there. Again, I'm not an expert in Y2K makeup. On most of the pictures that I see of her on Pinterest, she has this blush placement nothing else. Guys, we're so close to being done. We're like so close. Now, I looked at her lip makeup quite a lot and 
I can't really get the gist of what she likes to do the most, but I can tell that she's definitely wearing lip liner and she's not like we are today where she's overlining quite a lot. She's like having it right on her lip, but a pretty dark shade. I think that's just like a, a Y2K trend as well, which is coming back now. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury. This is super small because it's actually my everyday lip liner. I'm using the one from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Iconic Nude, not Pillow Talk. It's way too pink. This is a lot more brown and a lot um, darker, but it's not going to overpower your lips. I feel like this one is perfect. And then I'm using a clear lip gloss. This one is the Dior Lip Oil in the shade 001. It has this super super light pink shade but it's basically not noticeable at all but i i like it this way so guys i think we're done with the makeup now i feel like okay i've done better makeup looks in my life this kind of look is looking it's giving clown but it's also because the rest of me is not styled yet okay so please give me a break or the outfit that i'm trying to recreate is where the three we're basically four mean girls where they drag Katie along to the mall. And I just think it's one of her most iconic outfits and I feel like it's what she's known for the most almost. So this is what I'm gonna recreate. She ha she's wearing a black skirt. She's wearing this really, really cute tank top with red font and she's having a pink cardigan. She's have she's wearing hoop earrings because we all know that's her thing. Beautiful silver necklace, which is looking super cute, and a pink purse. I have all of those things. So first we have this super cute, kind of like ruffled mini skirt from Subdued. This is perfect. I also love Subdued mini skirts because they have pants. Sadly, don't have tank tops with red fonts or just tank tops in general, but I do have this tighter shirt with I guess it's like a Parisian logo on here. It's looking kind of cute and I feel like any graphic white tight t-shirt is gonna look good. We got hoop earrings. In the scene she's wearing silver hoop earrings but I only have white ones so I think I'm just gonna go with the white ones. Yeah. And of course we got this iconic pink cardigan. It's like a baby pink. It's so cute and it's so Regina. And what we can't forget of course is her. So let me put on the outfit first and then we're gonna figure out the hair because I feel like wigs are always such a hit or miss and let's just see what we got. So comfortable. How could he do this to me? I was half a virgin when I met him. Is butter a car? God, Karen, you're so stupid. You're so wonderful. Katie, will you please tell him his hair looks sexy pushback? You guys, this is the finished result. It looks a tiny bit better <laughs> in my head, but I'm still really content. I feel like if you have a party with your girls, especially, I think this is going to be a really slay outfit, even if you have maybe a Katie or a Gretchen or a Karen that can tag along with you. Um, I know men probably are not gonna get this costume. So maybe if it's like a huge party and you want a more recognizable character, maybe Regina is not the best option. But if you just wanna maybe film some TikToks or you just want to, I don't know, dress up a little bit. I feel like this is so cute. I'm actually really happy with this. I think this is a really slay last minute cosplayer. Why are we talking to Janice Ian? So you guys, that's it for our first spooky season costume. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm going to be back with a lot more fun spooky Halloween costumes and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. I really hope you're happy with the outcome. I definitely am. I hope I can meet a Gretchen and a Karen and a Katie. I would love to do this as a group cosplay. It would be so fun but for now i'm really happy with this and yeah let me know how you liked it and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye